Today I'm installing Floor P for the very first time. It promises unlimited customization, enhanced functionality and better privacy than your default browser. So let's see what the setup experience is actually like and whether it lives up to the hype. And here right now I will search for Floor P and let's go here to this website, unlimited customization for everyone. So here I'm gonna click on download, select here the online installer, which is recommended. So let's click here on download for Windows. So right now let's just wait here for a few seconds. And here we already have the installer. So let's just click on it and let's click here on yes. Here I will select install with admin rights, install for all users with admin rights. We can do this and also install location will be this. So let's click here on start installation and let's just wait here for a few seconds. And we can also see that PowerShell actually popped up. So let's see what will happen here with the installation of floor P. And I got an error here. So the code execution cannot proceed because msvcp140.ddl was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. So let's click on OK here. And once again, I got the code execution cannot proceed because vcruntime140.dll was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. So we can just search on Google, I guess, vcruntime140. And now let's go here and let's search for vcruntime140. 40 and let's go here to this option and I think we will have to install this version so let's go to la latest supported one and I will click on this one to get the installer and right now let's just install this to fix this error hopefully setup successful let's click on ok and now you can see that it's still installing and installation is finally successful. So Floor P installation completed successfully. Launch Floor P browser after installation. So let's click here. And here it is. This is apparently the Floor P browser and welcome to the Floor P. So right now let's click here to get started. Floor P speaks your language. I'm gonna select here English US and let's click here on continue. Main Floor P features. Floor P comes with many useful features. Check out the feature overview, panel sidebar, workspaces, mouse gestures, progressive web application support. Okay, so let's click here on the arrow. And then we also have here Floor P Hub. Floor P Hub is a dedicated setting center for Floor P specific options. You can open it by navigating to About Hub. So let's click here on Open About Hub. So let's see what will happen here. And here we have all of the settings like the tab and appearance and stuff like that. Also privacy and tracking protection and extensions as well. So let's go back here to the first page and let's click here on the arrow. Initial settings. So let's go here with the follow system settings and default search engine. I will select here DuckDuckGo. And let's click here on continue. So setup complete. Congratulations, you've completed the floor P setup. You can now enjoy comfortable and secure internet browsing. Right now, let's click here on get started with floor P. And here we are. To be fair, it does look a bit different than the Firefox. So we have here the bookmarks and the bottoms here on the right. Then we have here some of the shortcuts and also this first page of the floor P. So now let's try to customize it a little bit because this one I heard that it's quite customizable more than Firefox actually. So here let's go to the settings to see what it actually offers in terms of customization. And if we go here here to search. Maybe here we could see some of the options to customize the tabs here. I hope that this browser actually does have the vertical tabs here and we can see that it has some privacy and security. Floor P Hub. So apparently Floor P Hub is a different option here compared to the settings one. So I have to go here to the Floor P Hub to change the appearance. So let's go here to tab and the appearance. And currently by default, it's selected here Lapton. So it's looking like this, but we can change this to the Proton one. And this is default Firefox look. Then we have the Photon one, Firefox UI fix. And then we have Fluarial. And uh, yeah, I think it does look pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go here with the Firefox UI fix. This one looks quite nice. And then here down below, we can also configure advanced Lapton theme preferences. So if I click here on configure Lapton, we can change here the option to automatically hide tabs. I think this would be really cool. And now we can go here back to this options. And here we have the tab bar. So this is the actual option I was looking for. We have here the 
horizontal, then we have multi-row. But I do must admit that I prefer the vertical option. So I really do like the vertical integration here in the Zen browser and also the Arc browser. So let's try this. And here we will have to drag important tabs here to keep them within reach. So for example, if I go here and go to the Gmail and now here, I'm going to just send this tab here to top to pin it here on top. As you can see, we have the shortcut here on top. So it's very similar to the Zen browser integration. As you can see here, it has this really cool sidebar on the left. And we can also go here to make it a bit more decluttered because currently I think that there's actually too much going on here inside the browser. I will just right click on this one, remove from toolbar, then also this one, then we have this another one, a bit too cluttered in my opinion, and we can just remove them all. As you can see, we have this option to customize the toolbar even further. And here we have a few of the defaults and I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So let's click here on done. And then here on the left, we can also see a few of the options. So here, I think I'm gonna remove this option as well if I can. Remove AI chatbot, yes. And then here we have the bookmarks. And if we go here to the settings, we can also see a few more options like the history bookmarks. We can disable all of this. And now it's already looking way less cluttered. And here we can also see that it has this button to hide or make this sidebar even smaller. So the tabs are pretty much very small compared if I click on this and you can see that we have the whole name of the tab here on the left. One thing which I would like to also see here is to see if there are any of the extensions already pre-installed. So let's go here to the extensions and themes and we can see here that there are no extensions actually pre-installed. As far as I remember, Helium browser, for example, already has uBlock origin pre-installed when you actually install it on your computer, but this one does not. And maybe if we go here to the floor piece settings, we can go here down below and let's click here on manage floor piece themes in extensions and themes options. And here we have a few of the themes to pick from. For example, we can go with this one and let's click here and let's click here on enable. And now we can see how good the floor P already looks like. So it has this purple color. And now I would also like to hide this bar on the right very much. So let's just search for it. How to hide right bar inside floor p browser so let's do just a quick search for it to see if there's an option and now let's go here to the reddit how do i remove the web panel bar on the right hand side so let's see what the reddit has to say here so now i will have to go to floor p hub panel sidebar and disable so Let's go here to the floor P hub. Let's click here. Let's go to the panel sidebar option and let's disable this one. And then let's click here on restart now. And finally, we got rid of this sidebar on the right. So yeah, overall we have here the floor P web browser. And now I really do want to see if there are any cool privacy settings. So if we go here to the settings, let's click here on the privacy and security. We have here enhanced tracking protection enabled and set to the standard. And I think these are pretty much the general settings straight from the Firefox browser. And uh, yeah, here we also can see floor P data collection and use. And this is, I think, think set to off by default. Now, what do I think about this browser? I think it's pretty good in terms of the customization. However, in terms of the speed, I think that the Helium browser is way better in terms of that. As well as the Zen browser, I think that its UI is also way cleaner than this one. This one, in my opinion, looks too much cluttered out of the box and you will have to change a lot of the settings here to get it to your liking. However, if you always go here to the floor hub and under the tab and appearance, endless of customizations options. For example, you can change here the tab appearance. You have plenty of options. So overall, it's very customizable browser. However, would I use it daily? I don't think so. I do much prefer the Zen browser and also the Helium browser way better and also way more faster. Now, if you would like to give floor P browser a try, I will leave a link for it in the video description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next video.